And now, here's your host, Bobby Likas. With us today on Car Clinic is Gary Arvan, Chief Engineer for the Duramax Diesel. Gary, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Good morning, Bobby. Tell us about Chevy's new truck lineup and GM's newest 6.6 liter Duramax diesel. Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a, a new uh, 2011 Silverado coming out this year, and uh, it's, it's a major step up in terms of the capability uh, of these trucks. And we're moving up to 20,000 pound towing capability and over 6,300 pounds payload capability. And uh, we have a new engine offering uh, uh, to support that. Um, we also have a, a new lower emissions engine this year, uh, since it is the emissions year. But uh, we're building on our, uh, our, our Duramax platform with the fourth generation of the Duramax engine itself with about 1.3 million sold, and we believe we have a very proven platform with a good reputation that we're building on. So what we have this year is, is really just updates to that uh, to, to, to improve the product. And some of the big things we're offering are an increased power and torque. We're targeting to be segment leading with a major uh, step upward. But at the same time, we're offering a pretty substantial increase in, in fuel economy, 11% increase in highway fuel economy for the truck, which we think is a great offering when you combine it with the increased truck capability and uh, power and torque capability. Gary, from an engineering standpoint, is there something special about the motor, quote, and transmission package? I know that both have to work in harmony, but something that you can share that's special about the engine and transmission package? Sure, sure. Yeah, both very proven platforms, right? The Allison is also a, uh, a name known in the industry for very good durability. But uh, one of the great features we have uh, this year is an integrated exhaust brake. And this is a feature that will help customers go downhill safely and with low brake wear. It uses the variable nozzle turbocharger on the engine and closes the vane position in some conditions to create back pressure in the exhaust and airflow in the engine, which greatly increases the, the, uh, the negative horsepower in this case. And, and that, in combination with uh, shift schedules with the transmission and the uh, cruise control, has a really smart approach to, integrated approach to making sure we provide very refined braking capability out of the engine, but also a lot of capability to make sure you can haul loads safely both uphill and downhill. Well, I think that's outstanding as you're using actually the turbocharger and the engine both ways, not only to produce power, to, but to use uh, its capabilities to uh, have the power to slow the vehicle. We're talking with Gary Arvan, chief engineer for the Duramax Diesel. Gary, you mentioned horsepower and torque. Uh, I know you can't talk to numbers, but uh, torque is directly related to MPG, is it not? Uh, torque is certainly related to MPG in, in that, uh, you know, the lower a speed you can, can turn an engine, the better uh, fuel economy you, you do get in general. Uh, and having torque allows you to, to stay low in RPM, allows you to essentially lug the engine, lug the, the vehicle down uh, to produce, uh, you know, the same results you want in terms of climbing capability, grade capability, or acceleration. So it's definitely related in, in that sense. Only a couple more questions. One that's always intrigued me, and I know that a lot of people on the street that own diesels worry, not only from the semis and the large diesels, but the Duramax engine itself, and that's with the UL. SD, are we beyond the effects of the 15 parts per million sulfur, the ULSD, and any need for additives, uh, this engine, the injectors, the system? How, how does it respond, and, and ha was that a challenge for your department? Uh, no, no need for additives uh, whatsoever. We've been able to run on ultra-low sulfur diesel. In fact, uh, the 2007 technologies drove the need for that. The after treatment, the catalyst in, in back of the engine are what uh, really needs the uh, ultra-low sulfur diesel. But we've actually hardened our system even more this year. Our new 2011 product is B20 capable, wow. bi biodiesel capable, which means that customers can feel secure using biodiesel in, in, in more conditions, and, and the engine is hardened to, and proven durability on that fuel this time. So. I think that's a good offering as well. Sounds great. One last question with regard to the diesel technology, not only there with GM, but where do you see diesels headed in both the automobile and the truck industry? Or specifically, can we make a miniaturized Duramax and shove it in a, a Chevy Cruze? <laughs> yeah. For America, we really are focused on the truck product, you know, with, with comparable prices to fuel, maybe diesel even being a few cents more. You need the, uh, the duty cycle of a heavy-duty truck to really make it a good value proposition for the customer. So once you put it in a heavy-duty truck, the hauling capability and the fuel economy gains with, with hauling is uh, is pretty substantial, 50% or more better, and that's what really makes it a very valuable, that in combination with the ability, the low-end low torque and the ability to do work. So we're focused on heavy-duty trucks, 
uh, that's that's uh, that's where we are today. And you know, it sounds like just one more step as we're seeing it as we talk with different individuals from GM. We're seeing this as just one more step up the ladder for GM's return to its rightful position as the leader. And, and certainly the Duramax package has been a leader and has more respect than any diesel that I know of. A congratulations. Website for more information might be? GM.com. GM.com. Gary, hey, thanks for joining us on Car Cleaning today. You're welcome. And uh, congratulations on your accomplishments. I can't wait to see the actual numbers and to drive one of those uh, Torquey Duramax diesels. Look forward to getting in it. Thank you.